welcome to the Croca channel. In this quick and easy tutorial, I will show you how to add product swatches to your e-commerce website. Let's get started. To show product swatches, you will need to use JetU Builder plugin, WooCommerce plugin, Variation Swatches free and pro versions of the plugin by Emron Ahmed. Kindly note that this functionality will work only with these plugins. Also, don't forget to install the child sim on the website. Before changing the settings, let's see how our store looks now. On the shop page, I'm using a product grid widget. As you can see, there are only main products in the grid, without variation selection, and an option to add products to the cart right from the shop page. Also, on a single page, a user can choose an edit variation from the select fields. Let's change this workflow. In order to add swatches, you need to make changes in the website files. So the first step is to open the site folder on your computer. Locate the WP content and in this folder open the Sims item. Pay attention that all the changes we need to do in the child sim. Here I will create a new folder called JetU Builder. All our changes in the future will be made in this folder. Great! Now go back to the WP Content folder and proceed to the JetU Builder in the Plugins section. Open the Templates folder and copy the item named Widgets. It should be pasted into the JetWo Builder folder we created earlier in the child sim. WP Content, Sims, Cover Child, JetWo Builder folder. Great! Now open the widgets and delete all folders except the global one. Let's open it and proceed to the product grid. Here we need only two files, the item button and the loop grid so all other files can be deleted. Let's start with the loop item. Open this file with any code editor and, before adding the class, check the needed one in the archive shop template of the WordPress dashboard JetWo Plugins Swatches Settings directory. Here you should find the product wrapper field and copy its value. This value should be added to the line 16, which is called classes. Be sure to add the class in single quotes and without a period. Don't forget to save the settings. So far so easy, isn't it? Next, open the file for the item button. And add the code that you now see on your screen to the class block. You can find the correct spelling of the class in the tutorial or in the description below this video. Done! The last step is to apply the custom code so that the user can add products to the cart. To do this, go to the WP Content, Sims, Cover Child Sim folder and open the functions PHP file. Here we need to add the code from the gist. Don't worry, I left the link in the description. Now add the code to the file and you can add it anywhere, just insert it only after the closing bracket. Great, now let's check the result. Open the shop page with the product grid and see the changes. Under each variation type of product there are pictures with options. The product's main image also changes depending on the variation and you can add a product to the cart without going to the single page. That's cool, isn't it? Oh yes, and about the single page. Here you also can see the changes. As you remember, there were just select fields before. And now you can see all variations with icons. Looks pretty good. I hope this tutorial was not difficult for you, ask your questions in the comments, subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. See you in the new videos. Cheers!